Appearing before the Committee of State Enterprises and Statutory Authority were officials of the National Housing and Construction Company to answer queries in the Auditor General's report. One of the core issues was the 16 acre of land that currently sits the Defense Ministry headquarters and Army Barracks in Mbuya, Kampala. Lawmakers wanted to know how the ministry had possession of the title and yet the original owner of this land is the National Housing and Construction Company. Uh, we don't have the possession of the land and that's difficult for us to have it in the books. We have failed also to, to access the land for the purposes of survey and the purposes of, uh, of recording it in the books. The action we have taken as management is to open a court suit. National Housing and Construction Company informed the committee that there is a case in court over this matter. However, the defense ministry is also seeing national housing for a related matter. Has he put in a defense? The lawyer is here. Uh, he hasn't put in a defense and we are making an application to strike off, uh, I mean to, to, to proceed ex parte and get the when, when, when did you file the suit? Two government ministries literally suing each other. That they cannot resolve a problem and they must resort to what? To a court of law. The committee decided it would write its report based on its findings. Earlier on, the committee interfaced with officials from Uganda Railways Corporation, with one of the queries in the Auditor General's report being on the non valuation of Uganda Railways Corporation properties since 1988. Well, the records, the one that was accepted. As my MD has told you. The one which you, was not accepted, this can't be a variation. Uh, oh, well, because they have their different standards. Just answer the question, when did the URC last do a variation of their property? The one that is appearing in the papers, that is 19... Not in the papers. Just the paper that I have record. given you, sir. Okay, maybe it's 1988, the one that you have. The last variation was in 1988? Is valuation and assessment or a precursor to sell, and therefore, without a complete valuation, how do Ugandans know what they are selling? 20 years, Mr. Chairman, this is a big problem. And he said the minister authorizes. So I think here, the people who are in, involved in this is the accounting officer and the minister in uh, stripping Uganda railways. This lack of valuation resulted in 57 acres of land in Zambia, Kampala, belonging to Uganda Railway Corporation, being given away to private developers. It issued out land in 2011 in Zambia, which land is approximately 57 hectares. And this land was given at 1.2 billion per acre. And the Minister of, uh, Minister of Finance was supposed to pay them this money. There is no evidence anywhere that you would try to get that money from the Minister of Finance. And you're still saying you don't have the money to do what you're supposed to do. According to the Auditor General, there are loans amounting to 20 billion shillings taken at least 28 years ago, which remain outstanding to debt. Uganda Railway officials said these are grants and not loans. Some evidence but it needs to be for example con confirmed by the contracting parties there is money there that has been outstanding in the books for more than one year with no effort to correct it from kenya Railways cooperation the committee adjourned proceedings to next week when uganda Railways corporation officials will reappear before it more research or ntv at parliament